everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as Tepentadol. Its brand name is Nucinta. Before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So, Tepentadol is a centrally acting synthetic analgesic agent. It's believed to exert its analgesic effects by binding to mu opioid receptors and by blocking the reuptake of norepinephrine. Now, in terms of indications for use, Tepentadol can be used to treat diabetic peripheral neuropathy. This would be in patients that require daily, long-term, and around-the-clock opioid analgesia. In a more general sense, it's indicated to treat acute, severe pain. And finally, it's indicated to treat severe, chronic pain in patients who, again, require that long-term, daily, around-the-clock opioid analgesia. Before somebody was to use Tepentadol or Nucenta, there are some contraindications they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings they should be made aware of. This medication will be contraindicated in patients who have used a monoamine oxidase inhibitor in the previous 14 days. It would also be contraindicated in patients who have a gastrointestinal obstruction, patients with hypercarbia or bronchial asthma, either severe or acute, in unmonitored settings would not be able to use Tepentadol. It's contraindicated in patients who have a hypersensitivity to Tepentadol, whether it resulted in anaphylaxis or angioedema. And finally, it would be contraindicated in patients with significant respiratory depression who are in unmonitored settings without necessary resuscitative equipment if it was to be needed. Now, in terms of precautions, Nucenta is on the Beers criteria, which is a list of medications that the elderly population should either avoid or use cautiously. Because this medication can cause syncope and impaired motor function in this elderly population, it would put them at an increased risk of falls and therefore fractures. Abuse misuse and addiction are possible with this medication the risk of this would be increased in patients who have a history of drug abuse it should be noted that severe hypotension including orthostatic hypotension and syncope may develop in individuals using this medication this medication should be avoided in patients who have circulatory shock this is because the use of nucenta in these patients would increase the risk of a reduction in cardiac output and hypotension it should be noted that opioids may cause adrenal insufficiency. This would be more common when the use extends over 30 days. It should be avoided in patients who have severe hepatic impairment. And it's recommended to reduce the dose in patients who have moderate hepatic impairment. If a patient uses this medication who has biliary tract disease or pancreatitis, they may put themselves at an increased risk of experiencing a worsening of symptoms. Life-threatening serotonin syndrome has been reported with the use of Nucenta. The risk of this would be increased if patients were using this medication with other medications that also affect serotonin levels. Seizure disorders may be aggravated or induced. You should avoid the use of this medication in patients who have impaired consciousness or are in a coma. Use of this medication in patients who are at risk of developing or have an increased intracranial pressure. They exaggerate their response to respiratory depression or sedation. Long-term use of opioids may be associated with a decrease in sex hormones. You should avoid using this medication in patients who have severe renal impairment. And finally, abrupt discontinuation of Nucenta should be avoided as withdrawal symptoms may occur. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings and they start using Tepentadol, they can expect to take it in tablet form. The first thing I'd like to say about dosing with Nucenta is that because it is an opioid, we have to individualize the dose for each patient. So for this, we would consider their opioid tolerance, how well they actually tolerate the medication when they start it in terms of side effects, as well as the level of pain control that they get from the dose that they're using. So for this example, I'll just give a common dosing regimen that would be used in terms of initial dose and maintenance dose when treating severe pain. So for an initial dose, a patient can expect to get 50, 75, or even 100 milligrams every four to six hours. When starting the medication, patients may require a second dose one hour after the first dose, and this is okay during day one. Maximum dose on the initial day of therapy would be 700 milligrams per day. For maintenance therapy, it could be anywhere from 50, 75, or 100 milligrams every four to six hours again, but this time it would be individualized to the patient based on their pain. Maximum dose during maintenance therapy is 600 milligrams daily. 
Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Tepentadol. So I'll go over some of those here now. Constipation seems to happen between 8 and 17% of the time. Anywhere from 21 to 30% of patients experience nausea. Vomiting can happen between 8 and 18% of the time. And dizziness comes in between 17 and 24%. Up to 15% of patients may experience a headache or somnolence. And some more serious side effects would be severe hypotension, adrenal insufficiency, anaphylaxis, raised intracranial pressure, angioedema, respiratory depression, and finally suicidal thoughts or ideation. That's all we're going to talk about today with Nucenta or Tepentadol. As always, I'm thankful that you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help me grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.